New at six, a controversial new bill is being considered at the state capitol that could impact your child. The Parents and Children Protection Act would prevent teachers and school counselors from talking with students about issues involving gender without parental consent. Channel 2's Richard Elliott is live at the state capitol. And Richard, critics say this is a vital lifeline for students that could be at risk. The bill would require adults like teachers, school counselors, even pastors to get parental consent before talking with children about gender and sexuality issues. But some critics say sometimes children cannot talk to their own parents about these issues, so they have to turn to a trusted adult. I know there's some people, all these people here to testify for this bill. I know they are. That's Cordell and State I, Senator I Cardin Summers like in front of a PAC Senate committee hearing introducing his bill called the Parents and Children's Safety Act. It would ban any teacher, school counselor, camp counselor, or pastor from talking to children about gender or sexuality issues without parental knowledge and consent. He told us it's for the safety of children so adults won't push their views on them, and he believes it helps teachers. And teachers aren't trained in general. You know, math teachers not trained in general to talk to your child about their gender. But the proposed bill bill got a lot of pushback. SB 88 would chill protected speech. Critics blasted the bill, calling its language vague, stating it would prevent teachers and others from discussing a number of topics. Others said many times children dealing with gender or sexuality issues are afraid to talk to their parents, so they turn to a trusted adult instead. I think the bill is motivated by a lack of understanding, coupled with politics. Stone Mountain's Kim Jackson is Georgia's first openly gay state senator. She believes Summers means well, but doesn't understand what many of these children go through, even with their own families. We still live in a state where families put children out of their homes when they come out as gay or as trans. And so there are many children for good reason who are not able to talk to their parents about their sexual orientation. Senator Summers agree that some of the bill does need some revisions. Uh, the hearing, they actually had to cut it short because they simply ran out of time. So no decision today. They will have another hearing and more testimony on another day. We're live at the state capitol. Richard Elliott, Channel 2 Action News.